Welcome to our lecture online. Part 3 to this problem is a little bit more challenging because it deals with an adiabatic process. Well, let's read the problem and then see what we need to do here. It says one mole of a monatomic ideal gas is compressed adiabatically from volume V equals one third cubic meters and pressure two kilopascals to volume V divided by eight. With other words, the original volume is compressed to one eight the volume. All right, again, we're trying to find the change in internal energy. And of course, the change in internal energy is going to be delta U is equal to N C sub V delta T. Now, they tell us we have one mole, so this would be one. C sub V for a monatomic gas would be three over two R. And I guess we're still supposed to use R equals eight, right? I did write that, so R is equal to eight joules per mole joules per mole times kelvin so that would be 3 8 r times delta t so in this case that would be equal to 1 times 3 over 2 times 8 times delta t and that's the key here is to find the change in the temperature so let's draw a pv diagram so we have the pressure on the vertical axis the volume on the horizontal axis. Here are the isotherms. It's always a good idea with adiabatic process to draw isotherms. And notice that we're compressing a gas from some initial volume, where this would be equal to, uh, we'll just call it V, which is uh, one third cubic meters. Right, that's what it was, one third cubic meters. And we're compressing it adiabatically to another volume where the volume is uh, eight times, uh, well, let's see, one eight, V over eight. So this is V over eight, which would be 124 cubic meters. So you can see that we're compressing the gas in this adiabatic process going from A to B along this path right there. So how do we find the change in the temperature during that process? Well, we need to use two equations. We are going to need PV equals NRT. That means we need to find a relationship to, between the pressure and the volume. And they do tell us that we start out with a pressure of 2 kilopascals. So pressure at A equals 2 kilopascals, that's 2,000 pascals. And let's see here, with an adiabatic process, we also need this equation where P1, V1 to the gamma equals P2, V2 to the gamma. So we can now call it A and B, and of course, gamma in this case, gamma for a monatomic gas is going to be C sub P over C sub V, which is 5 over 2R divided by 3 over 2R, which is equal to 5 over 3. All right, so the gamma is 5 over 3. So coming up here, we can say that P at A times volume at A to the, uh, let's see here, to the 5 thirds power, is equal to pressure at 2 or at B times volume at B to the 5 thirds power. All right, let's plug in what we know here. We're looking for PB. So PB equals P at A times VA over VB raised to the 5 thirds power. Okay, let's plug in what we have here. PB is equal to 2,000 Pascals times VA, which is one third, divided by VB, which is one twenty fourth, like this, and so that would be twenty four over eight or uh, twenty four over three or eight. So this is equal to two thousand times eight. Of course, we can't forget to the five thirds power. And then notice we can take the cube root of 8, that's equal to 2, to the fifth power is 32. So 32 times 2,000, that would be pressure at B is equal to uh, 2,000 times 32, which is 64,000 pascals. All right, that's how we find pressure at B. So now what we need to do is we need to find temperature at A. So temperature at A is equal to... Uh, PV over NR, that is at A. So the pressure at A is 2,000. Volume at A is one-third. Number of moles, I believe, was one. Yep. 
and r is 8. So that would be 8 goes into that, that's 250 divided by 3, that is uh, 250 divided by 3 is 83 and a third. So that would be equal to 83.3 uh, Kelvin. All right. So that is the temperature at A. Now the temperature at B. That's equal to PV over NR. So the pressure there would be 64,000. The volume would be 1 over 24 divided by 1 and R is 8. Okay, let's see. 8 goes into 64,000, that would be 8,000 times. So that would be equal to 8,000 divided by 24, which is 4,000, divided by 12, which is 2,000, divided by 6, which is 1,000, divided by 3, which is 333.3. .3. So delta T is equal to the difference, 333.3 .3 minus 83.3. 313, that's 50, that's equal to 250 Kelvin. Now we can plug that in here, right? Now we can come up here, and now we can say that this is equal to 1 times 3 over 2 times 8 times 250. So 2 and 8, that becomes 1 and 4, 4 times 250, that is 1,000 times 3, which is 3,000 joules or 3 kilojoules. And that is one of the answers. Yes, it is. It's the last answer, answer T. And of course, that's what we're expecting. We're expecting answer T because we know by now, of course, that answer C is correct. And so we would expect that T would be the proper response for part number three in this problem. Notice that this one took a little bit more work. And of course, if you were taking the test, you would need to come here after part one, you would have had the right answer. You didn't need to go on, move on to the next problem. But just so that we can learn how to do this, this is how we find the change in internal energy in this adiabatic process of this monatomic gas. And that is how it's done. Oh, yeah, I have other. <laughs> That's right. You can also, no, only one of them, right? That's this one here, yeah. Okay, there we go. Yep. That's the answer.